<laughs> no video, of course, would be complete without me showing you today's weather brought to you by the gray sky. And yeah, check out that snow. Wow. We got a warning saying snow's on its way. It's unbelievable. I sat out here by the fire yesterday watching the hockey game with some friends. And turns out we end up waking up to well over a foot of snow. And these are big snowflakes too. What's up my Nabooers? Let's take a little look at our poll online here because I'm gonna create a video series that uh, is gonna walk through how to program the Nabu using Z88DK. And of course we wanna see what you guys think the content should be. And it looks like a graphic program wins by a landslide. Look at that, 71%. Wow, okay, so 128 votes. Thank you so much for everyone who participated. I'm gonna do both. Don't worry about the, the CPM utility guys. Don't worry, we're gonna do both. But I'm gonna start off with uh, two player Pong. Now trust me, I got some really good ideas. Now you might've seen my brick battle, A drive user area one brick battle. It is a unique take in the sense that you can have multiple players, multiple balls, and how we control multiple balls, multiple players, is that you see the color of the balls are all white. Well, when you hit it, it becomes the color of your paddle. And that ball now becomes mine until it hits the other ball. I only have one joystick cooked up. And it becomes that ball's, there we go. See, now it becomes that ball, <laughs> that paddle's ball. And my unique take on Pong is gonna be somewhat similar and I have some really good ideas. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. So we're gonna start that series pretty soon. I just uh, have a few things I wanna show you for right now. Let's boot up Cloud CPM. And we have a color option now. So well, let's first, let's type in help because that's the thing that you should be doing if you wanna familiarize yourself with CPM and how it works. So I'll scroll back and forth like the very first thing says. But what we want to do is we want to type in color. Now this gives us some usage where we can go into interactive mode or we can specify in the command line. So for example, if I just wanted to go and type something to the command line, if I wanted white on black, as the example here, I'll just type in 15.1. And now all applications in CPM, including RetroNet Chat, will use this color. Now let's type in color with an I to go into interactive mode. Now we can hit F to cycle the foreground color and B to cycle the background color. Let's see, something on black. Let's go there, something like that. And we'll hit S for save. Now this is actually saved, not for this session, but forever. So if I were to refresh the NABU, so we booted into our god awful color that's practically unreadable with this camera <laughs> on this old monitor that I got here from the NABU. There are several settings in Cloud CPM that are stored in your RetroNet folder. To find your RetroNet folder, we'll click on Settings, RetroNet and you're gonna see your local store folder. Navigating to my local store folder, you'll see there's a CCPM file. That's a configuration CPM, cloud CPM, whatever you wanna call it, CPM file. It is 128 bytes long, and it contains the last configuration of pretty much anything that you can configure in a cloud CPM. And I have updated the IO byte, because if we take a look at stat and device list now, what we're gonna see is by default, our con is CRT, where before it was the TTY, which was the serial, but guess what? Serial implementation is coming soon, and I have something else that I was working on today, and it's so cool, I can't wait to show it to you. Uh, I jump in the gun, you know me, can't build a reputation on things you're gonna do, said Henry Ford, so I'm not gonna show this to you yet, but I'm gonna keep you hanging. Okay, so we'll start up on our, uh, video series pretty soon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.